Okay, so April uh, 13th, I believe. Is it? Yeah, April 13th. Crap. Um, we're moving right along, aren't we? Into this season. Uh, that's a stranger. Stranger danger? Who are you? I uh, got seven or eight, eight on the schedule for today that I'd really like to get done. It's really wet. And um, then I got about 20 bales of pine straw to put out. I'd like to try to put out today. And then that leaves tomorrow as a really big day and Friday as not that big of a day and um, capable of grabbing up my kids off the bus real quick. And uh, so, yeah. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if I had too many questions to answer from yesterday's video and I don't I don't really think there were too many questions um, a lot of compliments though thank you I do appreciate that um, so one one guy you asked me some uh, advice for your new channel and then I, I just gave some advice to some chick who's starting a vlog um, that was trying to use my channel to jump start her her subscription rate um, I'm not stupid I know she couldn't give a crap about me and my lawn care vlog but when you see a lot of activity, then, you know, you start searching for vlogs as a vlogger trying to break into the into the YouTube vlogging community and you start searching for vlogs and my vlog comes up. Um, and then you look and you see, oh, this person has over a thousand subscribers and you got like 20. Uh, it only makes sense to say, hey, I like what you're doing. Uh, check out mine uh, to try to get some of my subscribers to say, hey. Who's this blonde in the picture? And then jump over there and you look and then you subscribe because you got a pretty face. Not stupid. <laughs> Come on. And YouTube's not stupid either. That's why that crap went to spam. Goes in the spam folder and waits for approval. So whenever like you comment on somebody's video like, hey, uh, check out my YouTube video. If you put the words like check out or, or um, uh, like, hey, subscribe to me or YouTube's really smart. They have a lot of filters up and they know what is and what is not um, like a real genuine comment and what would be considered uh, spam. Even though you're real, you might still be considered spam by YouTube because you're you're looking for um, you know subscribers and stuff like that on somebody else's shit. And uh, YouTube YouTube gives the um, the creator me or whoever's creating the videos the channel. Um, latitude to approve or disapprove or flag as spam as or unappropriate so I usually approve um, usually if you send over a link that's like hey check out my video I just posted this video I usually just approve it so if you don't see that for a couple days or a day or something that's just because I didn't notice the little mark that says hey you got videos that need your approval you got um, not videos you got uh, uh, comments that require your approval um, but once I see it, I usually read it, and if if it seems like it's going to be okay, you know, something mostly legit, um, then I usually just approve it because, I mean, why not? <laughs> Who cares? So what? Maybe some people will like your stuff, and so good, and I'm going to help you out. So uh, that chick just popped up into my spam, and uh, was like, hey, I, I, like, I like this video. Yeah, I like this video. Um, I got a channel too, or I got a new channel, something like that. It was obviously a cut and paste. She's just running around putting it on everybody's shit. Um, but I responded back to her, uh, gave a little piece of advice to um, be real. Don't be an actress on here. Be yourself, because as soon as you stop being yourself, one day you will be yourself, and there's going to be a huge shock to people's system. So if you're going to try to, you're going to try to be uh, like a like Mabel's or whatever the hell her name is, Jenna Mabel's, um, Marbles, Mabel's, whatever the hell her name is, um, if you're going to try to be like her and not pull it off, and then you turn around and um, then you try to become yourself, you're going to look foolish because people are going to know that you're just being foolish. Uh, so that was my advice is to be real, man. Just be who you are. So anyways, it's 8 o'clock. I'm going to fill up my 5-gallon can because I filled up my mower with it Monday afternoon. And then I, I used it to fill up my pressure washer yesterday. 
So let me fill up my five gallon can. We're still working on $20 of fuel for the week. We still have gas in my truck for the day. So we're gonna be doing about a thousand dollars on 20 bucks plus 10, almost 10. So about 30 bucks, we're gonna be doing about a thousand dollars of income. A little more actually, closer to 1200 um, in these three days. So yeah, 1200 in these three days. So um, that's pretty good, 30 bucks, $1,200 in fuel. And, and, and that doesn't mean I used 30 bucks, that just means I have it on board, um, 10 more dollars on board, ready to be used, and I'll probably use $5 of that. So basically 25 bucks, $1,200, I like it. So two weeks ago, no, a month ago, when we started this yard for the season, this yard was so nasty with really huge, tall weeds growing, and she asked me to uh, treat it. And so I treated the front yard and pressure washed the side yard, the side house in this front here um, and then two weeks ago I came back and I mowed and now two weeks later here I am again and man what a difference what a humongo difference I mean it's nice it's green it's uh you know the grass is starting to come out of dormancy now so the grass is growing I was actually mowing lawn today I wasn't uh, just mowing weeds um, there really wasn't many weeds at all so it's really getting there um, and what I'd like to do is probably in another six or eight weeks try to sell her on a um, nitrogen, a nitrogen only, uh, malorganite. And uh, put down a bag of malorganite in this front yard here, uh, really make that yard pop green. I mean, it would just be gorgeous. And then uh, do that a couple times this year. And then in the fall, put down another weed killer, another weed treatment. And I'm really set her up for an amazing uh, year next year of just really, really healthy, solid centipede grass. Um, right now, we're a little bit behind the power curve, you know, because she didn't do any treating last year. So if she lets me do uh, a couple nitrogen shots to really keep her lawn really green and really nice looking. And um, we knock the weeds down in the fall. And when the grass goes dormant, the weeds will be dead. That'll be that'll be really freaking awesome um, so we'll just have to see but we got two done and we got another one to do up here this is a customer um, that isn't really a once in a whileer but now this will be the this will be the first cut of the season that I'm doing it um, I did a few seasonal cleanups for him I think I cut him in, in January I think I did him in December um, but I haven't done them February or March or April yet I haven't done his yard but he's done it um, he's done some cleaning up Oop, this way he's done some cleaning up in his area um, in his house I mean his yard all the the, 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 the sticks the twigs uh, the pine cones he's been cleaning all that up so every time I go there and I do the neighbor uh, I'd see the progress made and so now uh, he was like you know I pretty much I got everything up so if you could come and, and mow and trim and everything that'd be great so um, he wasn't on the schedule for today but when I look at the the rest of the week I would like to do him when I do the neighbor but um, I don't think the neighbor's gonna get done this week because I did her last Monday or maybe this Monday I did her did I do her this Monday did I just do her I might have just did her this Monday I don't even know but I don't think I'm gonna be doing her this week um, her house is for sale, so she calls me and she's like, hey, can you do it in the next couple of days? We're going to be showing the house on such and such a day, you know. So, uh, with her, I'm jumping around, and I told him when he called me, I think Sunday, he asked me if I can get the yard done this week. I said, yeah, I'll get you scheduled when I do your neighbor. But in hindsight now, I don't think I can do that. Well, not in hindsight, in foresight, because I'm looking ahead. So, in foresight, I don't think I can do that. I think I have to do it today. I don't know when I'm gonna be doing her yard. So I'm gonna do it today and add it to today's list. And then there's another guy who wanted me to come Monday, but I couldn't, and then yesterday was pressure wash day. And he's a once in a whileer, so I couldn't care less if I swing by there and it's already done, honestly. Um, he's a once in a whileer, he calls me, wants me to come back and get the cash. So it's kind of a pain. But if I can squeeze him in, I'll squeeze him in today he'll be the last one to do today um, 
So I got this one, and then I got two in a the neighborhood, then I got a group of three together, and then I'll have him, a single one. And if I can get all that done, then, um, oh boy, tree service is here. If I, not at my house, but at the other house. If I can get all that done, then we're gonna be at a $400 day today. Um, and I still got like, like I said, I still got like 20 bales of freaking pine straw to, to try to put out too. Um, so, I don't know if I'm going to do that today or if I'm going to do that Friday or if I'm just going to push it off till Saturday and maybe go with the kids or I might have somebody just do it for me. I don't know. But let me navigate and negotiate. All right, gentlemen, we are uh, we are moving, man. I'm not doing a whole lot of video in today because of this weather that's all around us and it's sprinkled on the last yard. And so I just squeezed this one out. This is a $60 quickie, man. It takes me like 30 minutes. I get 60 bucks. And uh, I actually got this yard from another lawn guy who I didn't know that I knew him but he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't satisfying the customer right because he was spraying for weeds and the spray would get all over the grass um, from the flower beds and he was killing the grass and it, it was upsetting the customer and, and he just kept doing it and I used to have him a long time ago and then I deployed to the army um, you know we deployed and he got this other guy and this other guy was charging him uh, 60 bucks and so when I got back, I came by and I was like, you know, hey man, your place is kind of looking a little rough. And he was like, yeah, I got a guy, but I'm not. And I was like, well, I'm back in business, but I'm not gonna sit here and undercut people. So whatever you're paying him, I'll do it for the same price, but only once you're done with him. I'm not here to take a lawn from a customer, you know, from a, a lawn guy. But you know, we have a history, and if you're not happy, if you let him go, then give me a call. We'll do it for the same price. So he gave me a call probably about a month later this was um, toward the end of last year and he was like okay man yeah I'm about you know I, I'm gonna part ways with uh, with him and um, and you might get the neighbor too because he does the neighbor I was like all right well I'll be over and, and you know we'll get you scheduled so I did him toward the end of last year did a few jobs for him through winter and and you know and we're right back at it and I grind the weeds down the flower bed spend, spend a little extra time on it not a lot but I spent a little bit of extra time on his yard took you like 30 to 40 minutes to do it 60 bucks is what the other guy was charging and I'm like man you gotta charge $60 and not completely satisfy the guy I'm just I'm just amazed there's the other yard I did right there I just did that one so now we're out of this area and uh, we're going to roll on down it's uh, almost one o'clock so we're gonna roll down I'll let my dogs out I'm gonna get my my spreader because I got a customer that wants weed and feed dropped today. Um, but so I spent 40 bucks on a bag of weed and feed. It was like $37 plus tax. So I spent 40 bucks on the uh, bag of weed and feed. I'm charging the customer 40 bucks. I'm gonna use almost, um, I'm gonna use probably about two thirds of the bag uh, about that. So I'll have, a, I'll have this sealed up and I'll save it for like a front yard only where I can charge like 20 or 30 bucks to fertilize a front yard only. Um, or something like that and I'll charge I'm gonna charge this customer 40 uh, for it so this customer is gonna pay for the bag but she doesn't need 10,000 square feet so but she's going you know she's paying $40 for the treatment of course I don't do this for free um, so that pays for the bag and then there will be profit down the road um, to to um, add to my to one of my days down the road that'll be pure profit because I already have the uh, I already had the bag paid for through today. So today, a little extra work, gotta drop fertilizer down on a customer's yard, but that's okay, um, it pays for the bag, All right? Um, so that's what we got. We got a group of three that are together, and then we have a single lawn that's by itself. So we're gonna run past those group of three in that single yard, we're gonna get the spread spreader, we're gonna let my dogs out, and we're gonna run on back. We're gonna do the single yard, and then we're gonna do the group of three, that's how we're gonna close out our day close to around 4, 4.30 with a $400 day with fertilizer on the ground chasing this weather nine yards. So nine yards, 390 bucks. Uh, so you're looking at uh, 44 times nine is 36, so that's 36. You got carry to three, that's 30. Nine goes into 30, three times. So $43 on average is what we're gonna be getting uh, a yard today, $43 on average. So that's not bad. That's $43 a yard. That's not bad. I like that. I like that very much. Uh, and that will set us up 
for tomorrow being a really big day um, and I might call in some help for tomorrow just to ensure that I can get tomorrow completely done and maybe do a, fruit, a few from Friday tomorrow so that way I can get the pine straw delivered and installed and do Friday's work and be done three o'clock get home shower and I can pick up my boys get them off the bus and we can go to dinner um, and start our boys weekend right so that is the plan all right so let's just see how things go so this this yard that I just stopped by which is on my way to these this group of three the gates locked and um, you know I told him I was gonna try to be there Monday He's on call. He's like an on call kind of guy. You know, he calls me once in a while. But then when he calls me, he wants it freaking done. And it's like, all right, well, I'll try to get you in Monday. So I tried to get him in Monday, but I didn't. I couldn't. And then yesterday it rained. Um, and then, um, so I swing by there today and he's got the gate locked. So, you know, so I left him a message. I was like, look, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do these three yards and I'll, I'll attempt to swing by on my way to my place after these three. And usually he should be home from work by then. He gets home like around 3.30. You know, and I left on that. I'm like, look, this on-call stuff just isn't going to work. Um, I can't squeeze people in. I run a very tight route, and um, if you're going to lock a gate, then you're going to—he's going to have to give me the key, or put a combination lock on it, or leave the gate unlocked for basically a few days when he wants his lawn cut. And we say, okay, I'll, I'll get you in. Um, that gate's just going to have to remain unlocked because um, I, I just don't have the time or the patience to do it, to do that. You know. Um, and I don't, I don't need to work that bad. I don't, I don't have to sit there and wait and uh, play tag with a customer. You know what I mean? And then, and then I got to go back to get paid because he wants to pay me. You know, and it's eh, too many times going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I don't have the patience. I don't have the time, the energy. Don't want to do it. Well, I guess we're done because I didn't hear from that guy. His gate was locked. So I did these three. We're done there. Um, so we end at 3:40, and I did a fertilizer. So, um, so for ticket sales today, you know, we got 380 in, in um, receivables because that's what we, you know, that's what we did. So we did 380, but we spent 40 on the fertilizer. So take it 340. Um, now, as far as your fuel consumption, right? Now, this is something I always say, and this is this is your lesson for today. And, 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 I, I, and I show it, okay? So I'm not just gonna talk to you guys, but I also want to live it, and then I wanna prove it and give you examples. So right now, this week, we're living a $1,200 um, tickets. We got $1,200 in, in accounts receivable created in three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, between lawns Monday and lawns today, and house washing and concrete washing yesterday. 1,200 bucks. So if that $1,200, what did it take for us to make that $1,200? So that's where you have to turn around and you got to say, well, you know, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. So when you got loans, when you got big, huge trucks and big, huge trailers and big, huge things and you're driving all over town chasing $50 or $60 lawns, can you do that and do it with what I did? I put 10 bucks in a five gallon can today and almost 10 bucks, like $9. And that was it. I didn't even use that can. That yellow can still full in the back of my truck, but I had it because my mower is probably low on fuel because I filled it up Monday. And then I used, so Monday I put $20 in, I put some gas in my truck and some gas in the five gallon can, the four stroke can. So of that four stroke five gallon can, I filled up my mower Monday on one of the yards and I used it yesterday to, to top off my pressure washer while I was working. So today, to make sure I had enough gas to get through today, I put $10 in it. So we have $30 totally out. So of that $30, we've done $1,200. But there's $10 of gas still in there. I didn't use it, well, $9. So $20 to make $1,200. Um, and all my stuff is paid for. I don't have big, huge trailers and big, huge trucks and big, huge mowers that I couldn't afford to pay for cash. And that's, you know, that's a big, that's a living, breathing thing that you all have to think about when you're building your business. Not that there's anything wrong with that because a bigger truck can mean bigger income. A bigger trailer can mean bigger equipment, can mean having everything one time, not having to go back and forth, never forgetting something. So, I mean, there's two sides to the coin, but the way I do it, 
because I run such an extremely tight route and a lot of discipline. Um, on $20, I made $1,200. And I still have a quarter of a tank of gas in my truck. I still have a quarter of a tank of gas. So I still have enough gas for tomorrow um, to go out and make 400 and something, $500 that's on the schedule for tomorrow. And I got the $10 in gas. So for 30 bucks, we're gonna make about $1,700 in four days on $30 of fuel. That's amazing. And that is the definition of not how much you make, but how much you keep. Maybe there's other people that, you know, are making six, seven hundred dollars a day, but they're spending forty dollars a day in gas to do it. Or, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're spending more and then, eh, but then, you know, you got equipment usage and servicing and all that comes out too. You know, there's, there's a fine line, but just going basic, you know, your basic lawn guy just out here working solo, what a really tight route can do, what really good discipline can do, you know, not 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 cutting a yard and saying, oh, I'll get it tomorrow. No, 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 you get it today. If it's on your route and you worked hard to build that route, you get that lawn done today. And you maintain your discipline and you continue with your discipline. You continue with your route density. And before you know it, you're out here making four or $500 in a day on five or $10 in expenses. And you're rocking at that point, guys. You're rocking because it's not how much you make. It's how much you keep. And so that's today's lesson. When you look at your route, look at what you're doing, look at where you're driving. You know, do you have to drive across town and do a $50 yard? What if you let that $50 yard go, but you do some, some more $30 or $40 yards in an area and really nail it, just pound it, where you can go one place and just pound that neighborhood into submission and make four, five, six hundred dollars and then go home without spending any gas just whatever you know just that little bit to get there so that's something to think about when you're building your business or when you're branching out um, you know when you're hiring guys what good are guys that are sitting behind the steering wheel they're not making you money when they're sitting behind the steering wheel so you need that route discipline route density so these guys can go out and do 25 30 40 30 well not 40 but you know 25 or 30 lawns in a day because they're all right there and they're not driving around maybe maybe you know you send them out there with with 25 yards to do four days a week I and then the, the fifth day is makeup day for rain for anything else um, you cut back on overtime you cut back on everything set them up with a, a 40 hour salary four days a week four tens that's how you pay them four tens you work eight to four or eight to five whatever they work four tens there's no overtime and the only time there's overtime is if you know there's an issue with rain or something like that and, uh, you know, hey, such is life. You send them home if it's raining. Clock out. Sorry, I'm not making money either. So, I mean, whatever. That's a totally different ball game. But it's not how much you make. It's how much you keep. And that's what I want you guys to really start thinking about, you know, the people that follow me. Uh, really start thinking about that because it, it, it really does make a difference. Uh, especially if you are going to branch out with, uh, with employees. All right, guys. So, that's going to be it for today. Um, not couldn't really do too much filming because I really got a haul butt. Um, this this weather is terrible. Really. Well, so we'll see. All right. Oh, oh. God, excuse me. All right, guys.